Welcome back to 11 foot kayak 2.0. You'll see right here that I started fiberglass in the front storage area. I want to get it all glassed in and uh, sanded it and make sure it's not going to be has some horribly rough edges on it. And uh, I'm, my plan is to go ahead and put a lid on top of this with a big porthole so I can you know, access so I can keep things dry under there. And then I wanted to, before I forget, I want to make sure I get me an anchor trolley system in. And you can see right here, I've already got my hole scratched out. And I found me some lumber that has a little bit of a warp in it, which is not hard to do at Home Depot or Lowe's. And it already had some hmm, primer that almost matches the boat. So that piece will go in there. And plus it reinforces the side it's got right over a, right over a seam there and a seam here so it just makes it a little extra strength and then that one reef for there and of course you got the last one here and we got I, uh, so far this is my fourth container of liquid nails which is good you know I didn't think I could get this much done with uh, only four tubes of liquid nails. And one of my uh, viewers was asking me about, said he had an issue with liquid nails and it didn't hold up. I, I had the same issue, but it's because I didn't let it dry long enough. I like that Gorilla Glue, I really do. That stuff's awesome. Man, it's expensive and the whole my whole thing here was trying to do this as cheaply as possible. Now I'll, I'll fill all those in. With some much cheaper caulk because I'm gonna my fiberglass uh use some fiberglass in. put under there to hold it and really I don't even need to put a clamp on this but I want to because I have it you don't need much pressure you know maybe enough pressure just to keep it so it won't fall out wake up in the morning and your wood's hanging astray you know hanging your wood's hanging halfway out and you, know, you got to rip it loose and put it back so I'm gonna find one more plant for that all right I appreciate y'all watching the 11 foot kayak 2.0 and and keeping up with the progress and those that you are building along if you guys are building one too and you got some pointers <laughs> don't be bashful man it probably helped me out a lot so and there's my bottom underside of it And I'll fill that big gouge with something. And as we go with this, I mean, you know, you, you have one idea, and then when you get to a certain part, you might have to change your idea and go with something else. Kind of like, uh, you know, this doesn't look real great here. I could put me a chamfer in here like that, and make that much of a difference but i want it to be more of a 45 so my fabric will roll up i don't want any hard corners like a 290 in here so you're cleaning fish guts and shrimp guts out of here after fishing it you want to make it easy to clean as easy as possible so all right see y'all later thank you for watching kayak 2.0 11 footer